Hello. So here we have a simple trig identity and um, our goal will be to simplify it. So um, I'm going to get started by just expanding this through foil, right? First, outside, inside, last. So one times one is one. One times negative cos of x or minus cos of x is just minus cos of x. Cos x times one, cos x. And cos x times negative cos of x is negative cos squared of x. Great. So now what do we do? Well, negative cos plus cos is zero, so they cancel out. And we're left with one minus cos squared x. Are we done here? Actually, no. We can convert this into sine squared x. And why is that? Because of the Pythagorean identity. And here it is. Sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Okay? And this is going to be usually given to you everywhere in any formula sheet of trig identities. And um, how, how does this tell us that 1 minus cos squared of x is equal to sine squared of x, though? Well, look at this. If we subtract cos squared x from both sides of the equal sign, I'm running out of room here. So I get sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. And it also follows, by the way, if we needed to, if we instead saw 1 minus sine squared x, that's equal to cos squared x. We're just basically rearranging the Pythagorean identity. So that's it. Usually in a multiple choice question, you will see this as the answer for our question. And that's it.